Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue working on my quotes content type. I created that in the previous demo. Now I'm going to make sure that it is used in a document library. So I'm going to create a new app, a document library app in this case. I'm going to call it quotes. And that is, of course, a regular document library. This quotes library has no connection to the content type that I just created, but that's the connection we're going to do now. So I'm going to go into library settings. As we see, there's no section here with content type. But if I go into advanced settings and say that I want to allow management of content types, there is a section now called content types. And here we see that this new document library is connected to the document content type. But I want it to use the quote content type that I just created in my previous demo. So I'm going to add from an existing site content type, select the Contoso group, which contains all of my content types. Click on OK. So now if I go into the quotes library and click on the new button here, you'll notice that I have the ability to create documents and Contoso quotes. But of course, that's not what I want. I want it to be only quotes in this library. So I'm going to remove the content type, which is called document. And of course, I'm not removing this from the site collection or even the site. I'm just removing it from this library. So now, if I go into quotes again, you'll notice that I have the new folder, Contoso quote and link. I can remove those folder and link also. The link one is somewhat complicated. I have to go into SharePoint Designer for that one. But so I'll leave that be, but the folder one is easy. So let's do that one. So let's go in into library settings and under advanced settings again, I will go into the settings here and find that the new folder command that should not be available. That only hides the, the content type and hides the button, but you can still create new folders if you open this in Windows Explorer. That's good to know. It's just a, makes it less easy for people to create folders. So now if I click on new here, I have the new Contoso quote and I have the link. So let's leave it at that. As you see now, if I create a new item here, it's opened up in Word Online and I can start typing stuff here. And describe my quote. I can double click up here to call this quote one. And then I can go out and it's saved. Now to edit the properties of this, I would select it. And then I would click on this little info button here. And that gives me the preview of the text. And here you also see the quote date, the decision date and those things. So let's click on edit all. And then I can enter the quote date here. And the decision date over there. And the value was 500 for that one. And it's still undecided, so let's save that. And now I can, of course, uh, go ahead and change the view so that I can show hide columns. I don't want to see the modified and modified by. They take up space unnecessarily. But I do want to see the quote date, the decision date, and the value, and, of course, the decision. So let's apply that. And, of course, I need to remember to save this view now that I've done that change. So now I've used my content type in my document library and I've modified the view to show those. And I've also showed you how to edit the um, metadata. Now, one problem that we're going to solve in the next demo is that this uh, template being used is rather blank. We don't want our quotes to be started from a blank document. We want to use a template, of course, and that's what we're going to do next. So thank you for watching this demo.